when do we do a hysteroscopic myomectomy? Now you know that myomas are developed in the uterus. There are subserous myomas, intramural myomas and submucous myomas. The myoma which lies in the uterine cavity is called as the submucous myoma and these submucous myomas can be removed hysteroscopically. Now what is the size and number? Number depends on how much is inside the uterine cavity but the size is very important. The size of the myoma more than 4 to 5 centimeters should not be attempted hysteroscopically because any hysteroscopic myomectomy should be finished in half an hour. The complications post myomectomy or caused due to myomectomy can be grave. So we have to finish the submucous myomas within 30 to 45 minutes only. So submucous myomas they contribute to 5 to 10 percent of uterine fibroids. Now these can be removed with laser too by cutting it but the routine practice is hysteroscopic myomectomy. Now what are the different types of submucous myomas? You have the grade 0 which is inside the uterine cavity completely sitting inside. Then you have the grade 1 wherein one third of it is into the myometrium. Then grade 2 which is more than half and then you have a bit of it inside the uterine cavity and most of it is in the myometrium. So this is also called grade 2 and these can be shaved up to the basal level of the myometry. Now hysteroscopic myomectomy, what are the problems caused? Infertility, abortions and abnormal uterine bleeding. So in all age groups that is the first the woman has infertility then because of the myoma she could abort and because of the myoma she could have uncontrolled uterine bleeding.